Okay, so this is the, the pipe sim. All right, we start with general. We call it, for example, combined RT visual lift. All right, and now I will set the tubulars. Okay, I will go from this mode to detailed mode. All right, and then the dimension option, I will go wall thickness. So I will construct the well liner. So you can see the, the schematic of my well real time by looking at this picture. Okay, so now I continue. I have casing here and I call it liner one and then liner two. And then this one is the 11,300. This one is 11 or 15,600. Okay. This one, 11,300. This one, you can follow through 16,300 with inside diameter. 8.835 and then 6.9695 and then 6.366 wall thickness is also important okay 0 0.328 0 0.317 with default roughness. This is for the casing or liner. And then I need to provide also for the tubing. I have two tubing. The first one I call it tubing one. And the second one tubing two. Okay. The first one down to 11,300. The second one down to the bottom of the tubing 15600 and then this is the tubing inside diameter 3 4 4 3.476 with wall thickness of 0 0.271 and the second one smaller tubing 0 0.262 with default roughness okay so from here we have done, we have completed the tubular section. And now we do the deviation survey. I will have 2D well, two dimensional well. This is angle tangential well head depth F of zero. And then for the deviation survey table, I've prepared, I've prepared my data. I will just copy my data first. Okay, wait a second. I've copied my data and then I can put it here. Okay, so this is the measured depth and the true vertical depth, and this is the deviation survey of my well. All right, now we go to downhole equipment. I will install the packer. I call it packer at depth of 15,000. 590. Okay, so you can see my packer here. Now I will also install artificial leaf. I call it gas leaf. It is active artificial leaf. And I will use for the injection basis, I will use injection gas rate. And the quantity is 2.7 million standard cubic feet per day, right? This is uh, my gas leaf. And this is the gas specific gravity for the gas leaf gas, 0 0.86, for example. And I will also install ESP at this one. I will install ESP, the symbol of the ESP and the symbol of the gas leaf. 
and I will locate the gas lift first, gas lift valve at 15,000 feet. All right, so here my gas lift valve, which is actually a hor orifice valve. And now I will install the ESP at depth of 15,600. There. All right. I go down. Okay. I will select the, the pump. Okay. I will use Reda pump. Reda SN. Okay. Wait for a while. Yeah, you need to be familiar familiar with your your pump. For ex of course, I will find my uh, pump first, right? For example, the casing ID or the diameter a five reda. For example, I want to achieve flow rate of six thousand, so I can find here yeah for example i want to use this one reda gn7000 okay click okay it will be selected from the pipe sim let's wait for a while okay so this is my pump all right Let's say the operating frequency is 70, 70 hertz, and the operating stages, for example, 150. Okay. And then the head, the rating factor is one. Rate, the rating factor is also one. I can do viscosity correction to obtain better result. Okay. So far, so good. So I have gas leaf and I have ESP. Now I go to hit transfer. All right. So the U value input, I will use multiple. Ambient temperature input also multiple. Okay. And then for this one, at depth of zero, the ambient temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit with U value of two. Okay. And then for the depth of the reservoir at 16,100, the reservoir pressure is 276 with U value of two also. All right, so this is the U value, the red line, and this is the temperature profile, the linear temperature profile. And lastly, I will go to completion. Here we will have equation for our reservoir or our IPR. So I at completion, I call it reservoir at depth of okay 16100 all right 16100 and then i will go to jones all right and then the reservoir pressure is 2972 reservoir temperature of 26 276 now I use Jones equation, okay? Jones equation, which is indicated by two parameters, A for the turbulent aspect and B for laminar aspect. You can follow me. This is 9.2 to the power of 10 to the power of minus six and the laminar aspect 0.09. This is to construct the IPR, but I still don't have the IPR because I need to provide the fluid property first. I go to fluid model. I add new fluid model. Okay, this is the characteristic for my fluid. I call it oil with, uh, with viscosity of 16. Let's say the gas oil ratio of 300 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. And this is the gas gravity, 0 
water specific gravity of 0 1.03 with API degree of 38. So click close. I already have the oil property reservoir. Okay, so this is the IPR, all right, constructed using Jones equation. Okay, so I have my well and I have been validated here by this design. I have my well, I have my reservoir, I have the reservoir performance. Okay, so now we can perform nodal analysis. We go to home, we go to nodal analysis. Okay, we put the nodal analysis point at the bottom hole because we concentrate on the intersection of the reservoir and the well bore. Click OK. Okay, we wait. All right, so this is uh, the sheet or the wizard for the nodal analysis. Let's say the well head pressure is 200. Okay, well head pressure is now 200. This is the reservoir pressure and the reservoir temperature. I can easily click run to perform the nodal analysis. Okay, we almost at the end of the session. So we will wait for the nodal analysis. All right, interesting. So this is the nodal analysis coming from the combined or hybrid artificially. The blue line is the IPR, the red line is the outflow or the vertical lift performance. All right, so we can call it IPR and VLP, IPR and TPR, tubing performance relationship and the inflow performance relationship. And we can also call it inflow and outflow, simply, right? So again, this is the inflow, and this is the outflow. This is the operating point. Okay, you can also show the bubble point here by this green line, and a few operating envelope here. Okay, but that's not very important. And then you can also plot the profile results, the flowing pressure result. So we start from the reservoir pressure of 2,972. Here we go to the bottom hole flowing pressure at sand phase at perforation. This is the depth of the ESP, all right? And after going into the ESP, the pressure will go up significantly so that we go to the right, all right? Here the discharge pressure after the ESP. And from here, we go up to the well head pressure. And between the ESP elevation, the depth of the ESP and the well head uh, depth of zero feet, we have gas lift, all right? That's why we have a curve curvature of this uh, well uh, pressure profile because we have gas lift port somewhere here, okay? so. This is the IPR constructed using the combined artificial lift. But I want to show you how, how it will be if we don't have the artificial lift. We can do that rather easily by deactivating the artificial lift system. So by unchecking this one, I make the gas lift inactive. And by unchecking this one, all right, I make the ESP inactive. So now I don't have artificial lift. I don't have gas lift. I don't have ESP. Now, both of them are shown in red color. Again, I go to nodal analysis and let's see what happened. Run. You see clearly, right? There is no intersection between the IPR and the VLP, because at this condition, we don't have artificial lift. Gas lift deactivated, ESP deactivated. Okay, so that's very clear. Again, I want to activate the gas lift and the ESP. And once again, we will perform nodal analysis. All right. Okay, very interesting. 
and we can do sensitivity analysis. For example, I want to change the ESP. The stages of the ESP I want to increase. For example, from 120, I want to increase to 200 stages. What will happen? All right. I will increase the flow rate. I will change the VLP without changing the IPR. Right? That will happen if you increase the number of the stages. All right? And let's see if we want to change the gas lift now. Right? Previously, I changed the stages of the pump. Now I will change the gas injection rate. So starting from zero for no gas lift and then this our base case 2.74 and let's say we increase to flow rate of 3.5 what will happen run okay all right so starting from zero gas lift injection rate, it means we don't have gas lift. We can still flow because, because we still have ESP, but now the flow rate is, is, is significantly decreased. And here, if we have gas lift injection rate of 2.74, the green one, and if we increase to 3.5, we don't change it significantly. All right, the, in, the, the flow rate, increases but it's not significant we only increase the flow rate from 7550 uh, to 7700 all right so that's for the sensitivity analysis and lastly i want to show you the system analysis in the uh, pipe sim okay this is the last part of uh, my session so let's do system analysis first. Okay. Let's wait a little bit more. All right. And we can do for the X axis gas lift injection rate. I want to start from one, two, three. And then three, four to five. And for the variable one, ESP, I want to vary now the operating frequency starting from zero hertz, or maybe we can uh, we cannot use zero hertz, 40 hertz, 50, 60, and let's say 70. What will happen with outlet outlet pressure of 200? Run. This may take a while. All right, but not, not that long, not for long. All right, so very easy. Now we have system analysis. At uh, horizontal axis, we have gas lift injection rate. At the vertical axis, we have liquid rate. And we have four scenario of operating frequency. The blue line is 40 hertz, red line is 50 hertz, green one is the 60, and then 70. All right, by looking at this one, you can do system analysis, you can do economic analysis so that finally you can select at which frequency you will you will run the ESP operation and at at what rate you will inject the gas for your gas lift. All right, so I think that's all.